Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be doing yet another Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. And let's get into the reading. So this reading here is all about success and whatever you're doing. Whether that's changes to your career, your love life, your family life, something will become successful. It's saying that there are positive changes coming in whatever it is that you're doing right now. And up here at the top, both the Pathway card and the Ride the Wave cards are confirmation that you are on the right path. That's exactly what they both mean. And it also means that this could be a very long process that you've been through, a very long journey. Um, we've had the Pathway card come out in a previous reading as well, so that was interesting to see that it came out again. But basically, whichever path you are on right now, it is going to lead you to great fortune after a time of struggle or a lot of work without reward, you know? So if you've been working for a long time and you haven't seen anything to show for all of your work that you put into something, um, now is the time when things will start changing and things are going to start taking off. So the great fortune card up here is one of the most positive cards in the deck. It essentially says that all of your wishes are about to come true. It also means very good luck, wealth, success, literally all of the good things you can think of, that's what this card brings. It could also represent something gold or something to do with money. And it means that things are aligned right now. Um, and some unexpected good luck is on the way to you. And something could also surprise you suddenly or you could hear good news out of nowhere. It can also mean um, you could receive something like a check or a note in the mail that is something positive. It can mean a message in regards to love or an invitation to something. Um, it also means money of some sort coming your way and it can relate to a pay increase at work. And so the timing of that card is about two weeks and it also references something that could need to be signed, like a contract. Um, this card also recommends being patient rather than forcing something if you've been waiting to hear this news. So it says just be patient, it's on the way. And this talks of a long, of the end of a long journey. Um, this card up here, Pathway talks of an end of a long journey with a beautiful transformation at the end and positive change ahead and this card it's like coming out of the dark so yeah if you felt like you've been in the dark for a long time um that's going to change soon you're going to be experiencing some very positive changes in your life and try not to um overthink the situation so this card's about being positive and trusting the universe. And this is also a really great time to begin a new project or a business or to take that leap of faith and do something that you've always wanted to do. Um, if, you had, if you have a business already or something you've been working towards, you will see reward for your hard work soon. And things are working in your favor right now. The changes card is really similar to the wheel of fortune card. So it says that whatever changes are happening, they're already starting to happen right now. Like this card means something that is currently happening. And so these changes have started in your life, whether you can see them or not, it could just be something underneath that started. You don't even know, you might not even see it yet, but they have started and something is shifting in a positive direction. And this card tells you not to fear change, but to lean into change. And then we also have the Spark of Hustle card. So this card talks about going for what you want and trusting that, yes, this is mine. And yes, I can do this. This card is meant to be confirmation of that. So if there's something that you're going after or you're wondering if something is meant for you, this card is saying yes. And it's taking the action or doing the thing that you've been putting off. And Spirit is also saying to ride the wave <laughs> and to go with the flow of things and to trust the ups and downs because there is a plan for you. And if you continue forward and don't let fears or change stand in your way, 
you will be successful. That's what this card is saying. That's what all of these cards are saying. Something positive is coming and it's saying, don't stop now. Like something is on the way. And things will always work out in the end. Right now, something is building up. And it's funny, we also have the Dry Desert card again, and this has come out in a previous reading, and then last night I also talked about hearing something similar to this card again. So this card is something about things feeling stagnant right now, or just not being able to see what's ahead really. And you don't really know maybe where you're going right now, things just seem like kind of blah, like you're not really seeing the results of something just a very desert-like feeling. But in reality, there's changes going on below the surface. There's things you might not be seeing. And at the end of this desert, there's like water, there's something amazing. So it's saying to just hold out because something really great is coming, whether you see it or not. It's just, it might not be visible right now, but it's going to be soon. And yeah, essentially you're very close to a breakthrough and this is only a phase of your life that you're going through. If you're going through a tough time, basically the spirit is saying this too shall pass. Um, and then dolphins to me can also mean communication. It can be a symbol of like playful, happy communication. It can also be a symbol of helpful communication. Like if you are in need of something, someone might come to help you. That's basically what this means. And also the ocean could be significant to you in some way. Okay, and then moving to our tarot reading today. So I didn't actually clarify the messages above. I just started a reading based off of um, what's going on with Divine Masculine right now. But obviously these cards above are going to be relating to this whole situation as well. So to start off with, we have the Three of Swords, which of course means an ending, heartbreak, ending a relationship. And in this card specifically, it looks like someone left in a hurry, someone left a mess. They just, they rushed out is what it looks like. And it's nighttime outside, there's a thunderstorm. So clearly this was a very dramatic ending and it was something that was very sudden. So this, I believe again, was Divine Masculine leaving this karmic person. And as we see when I clarified it, that's exactly what it was. You can see him like, it's almost like he came from this dark place in has been trekking through water just to get away and um but now you can see a light is shining like he's getting away from this dark situation which is literally like moving down the pathway towards the light and the knight of cups is something to do with a love offer and then we have the page of cups which is to do with like dreams and fantasizing about things and again it can be something related to a love offer and so i see that he's literally just He's away from the karmic person, he's on this journey, thinking about you, dreaming about you, um, clearly, because then we have the Empress right below, who's just sitting, you know, waiting for her man, <laughs> just relaxed, <laughs> while he's on this journey, trekking through water, trying to get to her, um, so I do see that he's coming, he's on his way, um, he could be somewhere in between right now, you never know, like, he could be staying at a friend's place, or he moved to a new house somewhere, or... He's just kind of somewhere on his own at the moment, but he's thinking about you, definitely. And then over here, we have um, the Five of Cups, which is definitely the karmic person in this situation. So you can see she's very upset about something. She's crying. I also clarified, I heard, um, or sorry, read a little, one of these little cards. I don't know what they're called, but um, she was crying is what I was seeing. Someone was crying a lot, very emotional. And we also have the clock behind her. Clocks often can signify something happening um, quickly. So again, I feel like this was very sudden for her. The fact that Divine Masculine just broke things off so quickly and just left without notice. And she's also discovering that he's moving up. Like he's moving towards the Ten of Pentacles, like I've said in other readings. So he's moving towards you, Divine Feminine. He's moving towards something happy with you um success he's moving towards monetary success as well and all this news she's finding out was just making her more and more unhappy and i actually was hearing when i saw this i was hearing the message um like oh my god what have i done that was what someone was saying they were like oh my god what have i done like 
it was almost like the karmic person finally for once in this situation is feeling some kind of regret about what she's done she's kind of like having a realization that like this actually is final he's actually gone um because we have her right here she's been coming up as the king of wands lately um someone with a very fiery energy so she could be um a uh uh leo sagittarius or aries but um there's a lot of regret now like i feel like she actually is feeling like why did i do that that was stupid like i don't know why i ended this but i do also think this karmic person for some of you like we've mentioned in another reading does have maybe some mental health issues so they didn't entirely know what they were doing um but they are definitely feeling some sort of regret now around the situation but i feel like regret is somewhat of a good sign if they are feeling it because that means that maybe they will learn from this situation you know which is the whole point of karma and everything um next to the five of cups we have the four of cups which was which is divine masculine right now again <laughs> he's really funny i feel like he's back in this thinking stage he's back in his library looking at his books overthinking things as he does with the thoughts card right here thinking about you non-stop thinking about his plans this man thinks a lot <laughs> um and it's, it's so funny. We have the two cards literally right next to each other. And he is contemplating things. He is now, like I said, away from this karmic person. But now he's back to thinking a lot because now he's got to think about his next step, which is coming towards you. So he's back to his drawing board of figuring things out. And he's thinking about rushing in with the chariot, you know, not thinking about things, just going for it. But then there's also part of him that's like, all right, guys, like, I gotta have a whole plan. This is my plan. He's, like, writing it all out on a chalkboard. He's trying to figure out all the details. He's trying to plan every little detail of how he's gonna come towards you. So he's, like, in two minds right now of, like, okay, I just want her now. Like, I just want to rush towards her, kind of, like, the energy in the reading at the end of the reading last night. Um, or he has this other side of him that's, like, no, 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 I gotta, like, do things right and traditional and I gotta plan every detail. It's gotta be perfect. So that's where he's at right now. Um, and then we have, like, the Four of Pentacles here, we have the Eight of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, so right now he is in this mind of, like, keeping things in, he's got all of emotion, his emotions, his feelings, everything is just locked up right now, um, he's keeping them to his self, himself, definitely not telling many people if he is telling anyone, um, if he is telling someone, it would be someone that's, like, a trusted guide or an older person, maybe, um maybe even a therapist for some but he has this fear of sharing things because he knows once he shares his emotions and things like this is just gonna release everything like it's all gonna come out you're gonna read his letter whatever message that he wants to send you like it's all just gonna come out everything that he wants to say to you um asking you about this partnership or this relationship whatever he wants with you um he knows once he says it, like, he can't go back from that. So it, he's like, it has to go right. And that's why he's taking so long to figure things out. It's got, we have the temperance card, which is due with patience and, you know, taking the time to balance out both of these energies that he's in right now. And the reason he's taking so long is because it's to do with um, self-esteem. So obviously he could have self-esteem issues overall, but I also think this karmic situation just made it so much more difficult for him um because now he's failed once he doesn't want to fail again he's so set on things going right this time like he's like he can't have things go wrong again and also because of the past if he broke things off with you in the past or ended things and did or did something dumb in the past like now he's got to own up to that so it, it's also a pride and ego thing like he has to let go of his pride and just tell you I was wrong sorry like and you know move forward from there so it's either something about being afraid of you because you're you know intimidating to him like he sees you on a really high level or it's that he has to own up to something he's done in the past and it's really tough for him to open up about that and share his emotions we have the queen of cups here which is literally about sharing emotions and feelings but he's very intuitively guided to this new beginning so I ultimately think like he's going to go ahead and do this but it's just taking him some time to get to that point 
And we also have grief, which is to do with the past karmic situation. He's still, you know, getting over that because that was a tough thing that he went through for many of you. For some, like, it was literally an abusive relationship. It could either be with words or even physical for some. Um, but he's still dealing with the emotions of that. He's also de dealing with the grief from the past with you guys as well. So it's very difficult. It's like um, the grief card also has to do with when he may have lost you in the past. Um, it really made him appreciate you more. Like the loss of you was something that he didn't expect to cause so many feelings to come up. But he didn't realize like how great the loss would feel. So that's also what the grief card is having to do with. But then we also have the imagination card here. Which is very positive because he is actually thinking about the good things that could happen if this does go right. So he's thinking about, obviously, passion. We had that energy in the last reading and a few readings now. There's a lot of um, sexual passion, energy, chemistry between the two of you. And then also there is the Two of Cups, which is definitely a love offer. And then we have the Four of Wands, which can indicate a serious commitment, living together, marriage. And it's like he sees himself in you, like you are his other half. He feels like you guys are mirroring each other right now. Like you are what he sees when he looks at his future. So although he has these like difficult feelings he's trying to work through, he also has this very strong vision of what he wants. And I don't think that he's going to let these feelings stop him from getting to that point. So he's trying to put these feelings in the past and focus on what good could come of this but I do feel like yeah he's doing a lot of daydreaming as well right now <laughs> about about what could happen with you scenarios in his head and yeah over here we have the high priestess the strength card and the wheel of fortune again that did come out which is funny because we had the changes card earlier um so the high priestess is how I see you guys you're very intuitive um, someone a little bit mysterious to him, very regal seeming, like someone with high status. Um, but yeah, the high priestess is definitely someone interesting, a little bit different too. And I feel like that's how he looks at you. It's also intuition. So he feels intuitively guided towards you and he feels guided to do this. And again, the wheel of fortune has to do with something that can be guided by the universe. So he that's why I'm trusting that this will happen because when it's guided by the universe, you can't really do a whole lot to stop it. So um, he's working up the strength to be able to do this. The universe is helping him, giving him the strength. He has protection right now and he is going to come forward ultimately. Like I very much feel that and it will be with some sort of message of some kind. And then it was funny that we were talking about all this stuff up here, going through these different emotions, how he needs to release pride and ego and everything to come forward to you. Um, because down here, we do have surrender. It's like, I release my need to control. And we have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So I feel like this is him literally doing exactly what we just said he needs to do, which is letting go um, of his pride and just coming forward and saying, like, I'm sorry for this. Um, and this is how I feel about you and just, you know, taking the risk and doing it. And it's about investing into you in some way because he does see a future with you and he knows like to get to this celebration, to get to coming together again with you, having drinks with you, um, just being happy together with you again, that he needs to do this. This is part of the process. And so he's going to step up. He's going to be an emperor. He's going to be like in the proper energy to come towards you and to be like a man, you know, act like a man, <laughs> whatever that means. And we also have the devil card here, which was interesting because um, it was clarified with these cards up here. So the devil actually, I'm feeling in this reading is not something that's bad. It's about him being willing to do anything that it takes to have this future with you. And that includes getting over his own negative emotions, his own things that have been holding him back in the past. 
he's going to overcome them ultimately. And then I did pull some love messages for you guys. So we have this one that came out in another reading, which is you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher pur purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed, which exactly relates back to pathway and all of this stuff up here. It's basically saying that no matter what you've been through right now, there is something good that's going to come out of it and there's something good on the way. And then we also just below that have trust. So transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept your current situation, it will automatically transform. So again, it's about him just <laughs> taking the, you know, responsibility for things that he's done before um, and trusting that he went through all of this stuff with this karmic person, all this stuff in the past with you for a reason and that there is something good that's meant to come out of it because everything does happen for a reason ultimately. So yeah, that's what I'm feeling with this reading. And just for fun, I also pulled a couple of letters for you guys to see if this, if any of them correlate with you, if you want confirmation. So I pulled the letters W, E, S, A, and I. So, you know, those could be any significant letters, first name, last name, or you know, a significant place or something like that for you guys. And word wise, like um, we got the word wise, um, something to do with sea, like the ocean, sea. Um, we almost spell isle and we spell I see or um, I saw. So uh, that's what I have for the letters. And then also um, in terms of signs, I did pull a card talking about Scorpio. So you could definitely be a Scorpio. There's obviously a lot of fiery energy in these readings lately too. So you could be any sort of fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, but of course, you could be any sign. Those are just some of the more common ones that I've been pulling. And I uh, also heard a few random th messages as well. So there's something about kids again for some of you that came out again in this reading. Something about a reservation at a restaurant, white roses or red roses, and something about renovations to a house. So those are all the messages that I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the reading. And if you do want a personal reading, as always, check the description box below or send me an email. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.